everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then i welcome you if you love watching handbag videos then definitely hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and jump into this video today i am coming to you all to do a two-year review on a bag that was on my love hate relationship a list. And that bag, y'all, is my Duty and Burt Zip Zip in the color magenta. This bag, y'all, I cannot believe it is still in my collection. Um, I have had this bag for two years, y'all, and I am now at the stage in my whole handbag journey where I'm really taking a look at my collection and getting rid of bags that just no longer works for me. And this particular bag, y'all, never worked for me. <laughs> But for some reason, I just could not let it go. I actually carried this bag for a whole week, y'all. A whole week. Can y'all believe that? Like, typically during the week, I like to carry bigger bags. And then on the weekends, I switch into smaller bags such as this one. But I decided to carry this bag for a whole week because I really needed to give this bag another chance. One more chance just to see if it's going to still be in my collection or if it's going to be out the door. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this review. Um, this go round, I did actually decorate this bag up. Like I told y'all before, I am trying to jazz up my bags. So I actually ended up going on, uh, I went on Amazon after talking to my amazing friend, Lucinda, and she was telling me about the beads that she had picked up. So I ended up picking up these pearl beads to go on this bag and I love the look of it, y'all. Like it looks so nice. Um, and then I just added this little pom-pom here to it, too. And this one I actually got from Icing. So that's pretty much how I jazzed up the bag. So with Dooney and Burke and their pebble grain leather, is very durable. So the leather itself still looks really good. Um, the handles, everything on this bag, y'all, just looks really good still. Um, I know during my last review, I talked a little bit about this here. And I'm happy to report that it's not getting worse. So I do still have the little loose thread there, but um, it's not getting worse. So that's a good thing. Another thing too that I mentioned uh, before is my strap handle here. It looked like it was cracking or that it had maybe have gotten watermarks on it. Um, but that hasn't gotten worse either. It still looks the same as last year. Here is the bottom of the bag. And it still looks really, really nice. My corners, I do have a little scrape there. I do plan on conditioning this bag once I move out. And that should take care of the marks on the side. So I do have a little bit of corner wear there. Now, one of the things that I did not like about this bag was the strap. So, for the first time, y'all, I did not carry the strap. So, when I carried this bag, I actually just carried it as a top handle bag. And it made for an awesome carry because this is not a heavy bag whatsoever. So, I was able to carry it like this or um, at times I would even carry it in the crook of my arm too. And it worked out fine. And then when I was doing grocery shopping, I would just throw it in the cart and keep it moving. So that was actually a plus for me this go round. So now moving forward, I know that I won't ever wear a strap on this bag. Like I just won't. And if I know I'm going to be out long, then I just won't even carry this bag. I mean, it's just simple as that. Another big thing that I did not like about the zip zip is the fact that the zipper won't once I put my items in it. So that was um, a little bit of a challenge because that means that this go around I didn't have to downsize. So I did downsize my carry and I am happy to report that I do not have a wonky zipper. So as y'all can see, the zipper is pretty straight. It's a little denting in there, but I think that that's just how the zipper is now <laughs> because I had wonked it so much in the past with my stuff. Um, but yeah, it's way better, way better. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the items that I have in this bag as well. Because like I said, I carried this bag for a whole week, y'all. <laughs> a whole week. And I'm so proud of myself for it. So 
just to give y'all a glance, this is how the bag is looking on the inside. So I did utilize all of my pockets. Here in the front pocket, I have my keys. And this is like a little uh, Victoria's Secret card case. So that is what's holding my keys. And then also in that pocket, I have my manicure set. As well as a notepad. So that's all that I had in one pocket. And the other pocket, I had my poopery, my type to go pen, some Lysol, and some lotion. So that's everything that I had in the front pockets. Here in the back pocket, I only had one item in there, and that is my wet ones. And then getting into the main compartment of the bag, I have my sunglasses, a receipt, another receipt, my earbuds, a receipt, and then here is my small Carrington that matches the bag. And I actually utilized this um, Carrington for my wallet. So this actually acted as my wallet. And just to show y'all at a glance, I was able to fit all of my items in here. So like here on the back side, I just have like receipts and um, coupons all back in here. And then here in the main compartment, I had like some money, just balled up. And I also had more money. <laughs> and then um, this Carrington, y'all, actually comes with four card slots. But I did actually double up on some of them and I even like quadrupled. <laughs> So yeah, this was actually pretty amazing and I thoroughly enjoyed carrying this little small Carrington as my wallet. So then the next thing that I had in here is this little um, Victoria's Secret pouch that I recently picked up. And um, please excuse that nail, y'all. I'm in the process of removing my nails, which I've actually gotten them all off except for this one. It's just hard to get off. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to soak that in some acetone. But anywho, back to this little pouch here. So within this pouch, y'all, I have um, here in the front, I had some a lollipop and then my little drink mix. I did have more candy here, but we have since eaten that. And then here in this pocket is my sanitizer. <laughs> and I am laughing, y'all, because I remember I saw the sanitizer in Ulta and I told DJ King that it was so super cute I just needed it well I didn't really need it but I wanted it and she was like yeah you have like a thousand sanitizers I'm like you know what you're so right I do I don't need it y'all went back to Ulta walked past it again and I just had to pick it up so I did <laughs> and I must say y'all this sanitizer is pretty bomb it is actually by the brand Touchland I'll leave the link for it below but it says it is a hydrating hand sanitizer. So that's what really drew me to this besides the cute little packaging is the fact that it not only sanitizes my hand, but it also um, hydrates my hand too. And it does have 70% um, ethyl alcohol in it. So pretty awesome stuff. <laughs> so that's what I had here just for easy access. And then here in the main compartments is pretty much my little knit net stuff. I had more um, lotion, my ma mascara, brow pencil, lip pencil, eyeliner, my scopes. I have my Juvia lipstick in the color Coco. Um, a pen. I have my little um, Skittles lip balm that I was gifted by LV Lux Girl. Love, love, love that stuff. Um, I do have my little nail stuff here that I use. Um, soap sheets. A mirror. My brow, what is this? Brow setter. I have another eyeliner. 
my brow uh, shaper or trimmer, a baggie. I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, tissue, some boogie wipes, my charger, hand wipes, a lens wipes, a deodorant, nail glue. Y'all, this bag holds a ton of stuff. You hear me? A ton. Um, I have some fragrance as well as a thermometer. And I love this bag, y'all, because it even comes with like inside pockets. So here on the inside pocket, I actually have two hand sanitizers, uh, wipes, and I have another lens wipe. So that's pretty much everything that I had in this bag, y'all. And it held all of the stuff. So I was really blown away. And this thing was so awesome because it really helped me keep all of my things in order in my bag. So this definitely helped. All right. So that is pretty much everything that I had in this bag, y'all. And here is another receipt. And then here in the back pocket, I think I had some items in here too. Yep, I have a panty, um, what you call it? A pad, <laughs> um, as well as my uh, COVID card. And then some panty liners and the registration card as well as the tag. So it's everything that I had in the bag and just to show y'all, the bag still looks clean and nice in there. And again, this bag is a whole two years old. And it was such an awesome carry y'all. This go round, I must say, with me downsizing my items, carrying my necessities and some, I was still able to carry this bag for an, for an entire week. And we made it through, we did. Um, I really enjoyed this bag. I love this bag and I'm glad that I gave it another chance because it will certainly be in my collection for another year. And um, I want to challenge everyone too in the handbag community. If you have that one bag that you really just don't get along with, just take the bag, analyze it, and firstly just write down the things that you did not like about the carry and see if you can tweak some things and see if you can um, make it your own and give it another try y'all because you will be amazed. Um, I am now finding that when I do that, my carries are much better, but there has been times too where I did that and the bag still doesn't work for me. And then at that point, I am able to detach myself from it and get rid of it. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then definitely give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.